Okay, uh, this is hopefully a rather short video with information on how to get involved in the community hot meals that New Hope participates in uh, from time to time. Hopefully it will answer your questions and give you some directions so that if you decide to get involved, you know, you'll know what, what you're getting involved with. New Hope is connected. Uh, we're part of the Ecumenical Assembly in uh, Bartholomew County or Columbus. I can't remember uh, both. Uh, anyway, and the Ecumenical Assembly also goes by the name of uh, Love Chapel, and uh, this ministry provides a food pantry for people in town who need food. It provides a homeless shelter. It, it helps pay bills for some people. And then the other thing it does, several uh, evenings through the week, there are hot meal sites in town so that people who don't have food in their cupboards can, could still get uh, fed. If you decide that you want to get involved in one of the meals, there's several things you need to know. First of all, you need to know uh, when, when the meal is, obviously. And, and I'll, I'll just give an example. Uh, usually in the month of February, New Hope is, uh, uh, takes charge of the Tuesday evening meals uh, in that month, those four, those four community meals. So you need to know when it is time. The meals are at five o'clock. Uh, you also need to know where it is. And the Tuesday evening meals for a long time have been at Memorial Baptist. Uh, we've also, New Hope's also done meals at Asbury Methodist. We've done uh, meals at the Center Street location for Love Chapel. But currently, uh, most of our interaction has been with Memorial Baptist uh, and the people there. Um, then what you need to get or what you need to have to start. You need to have a team, I think. It's good. I've actually preferred, uh, done a couple of the meals on my own, uh, the preparation part, but you still need several people uh, to help serve on the night that the community meal takes place. Uh, I, I'd say when it comes to fixing and serving, if you want to distribute the labor uh, nicely, it helps to have a group of six to 10 people. You definitely need somewhere around six people on the night that it's served uh, just to, to get things, uh, make sure things get done. Uh, what kind of a meal do you fix? I remember years ago when the community meals first got started, there was a pretty extensive checklist for the meal. Now it seems to be basically just fix a nice, well-rounded meal that people will enjoy and will get uh, nutrition from. We've done, uh, I did, my go-to is a spaghetti bake. We've done uh, uh, meatloaf. Uh, we've done chicken noodles, all kinds of, of stuff. Uh, the last meal this past Tuesday, just to give an example, the group did fried chick chicken that they purchased at Kroger and then mashed potatoes and uh, side vegetable, green beans, I think it was, and then grapes and bread and uh, uh, dessert, uh, uh, usually cookie or cupcake or something to, to go uh, along with it. A highly recommended thing that will make the meal go a lot better. Uh, you might stop by the Love Chapel Pantry the day before your group prepares their meal and before you've bought groceries. Because very often, just go in and tell them that you are doing the community meal at wherever you're doing it, Memorial Baptist, or whatever, and uh, they will show you stuff that they've got that is in excess. Uh, so very often you can pick up bread, you can pick up maybe salad, sometimes it just depends, sometimes fruit. Um, usually you can pick up dessert, cupcakes or cookies or, or something, but that, is, that helps a lot uh, as you're planning the, the meal. Uh, you'll need to know how many people uh, They've been having at your particular site, and I think at uh, 
at the Memorial Baptist site recently. We've been shooting for like 60, uh, 60 plates of food, so imagine that. And then uh, once you go to fixing, you can do that however you want to. Everybody can meet in somebody's kitchen uh, or different people can take different parts of the meal. If you don't have a kitchen big enough to do stuff, the church uh, semi-industrial kitchen is available uh, for your your usage. There are some big pans there if, if you need those. And that just kind of varies from group to group, depends on what group likes to do. Uh, then there's a the question, who pays for the meal? Very often, uh, groups divide it out far enough where nobody takes too much of a hit and the people providing the meal take care of things. We have no objection to you bringing a receipt, especially if you do like a meat expenditure or something, bringing those receipts to uh, uh, New Hope and McKinsey will, will uh, uh, reimburse you. Uh, obviously, don't do something that's like $5 a person or something like that. We usually divide things out a little bit better than that. But uh, uh, you can get some help if you need it. Okay, and what does the process look like? Well, obviously, like if it's on Tuesday, I'll use that as an example. If it's on a Tuesday, then on that Tuesday, you probably spend a portion of the day or the afternoon uh, getting whatever you're preparing ready. Everybody then gathers together at uh, the site location at, I'd say, at least a half an hour before time. So if it's a 5.30 meal, you, you gather at the site at 4.15 or 4.30. Everybody gets in there at Memorial Baptist. There's somebody there to let you in. You go into the kitchen. Uh, usually somebody from Love Chapel to, to help you, help guide you a little bit. Utensils, plastic utensils are provided, uh, styrofoam containers to put the meals in are provided. And because we're in the middle of uh, uh, the virus, uh, things are done a little bit differently. People don't have, don't come into a fellowship hall and eat together. The food is uh, delivered outside as people come by. Um, Memorial Baptist has a covered, has a covered uh, porch and then a glass foyer. And uh, we usually serve out that front door to people. Five o'clock uh, or about four, uh, 20 to four, somewhere in that range, people start putting the food in the styrofoam containers. Uh, stack them up in the cart. Cart's pushed out to the front right before five. At five, somebody from the group goes out and prays with the people. The door is open. The food is served. And I uh, probably didn't mention drinks, but right now we're ju usually just serving bottled water, so get some bottled water for the people. Uh, they do like milk when we're doing the indoor thing, and if you find some cartons of milk, those uh, people are grateful for those, but that's basically how you've done it. And then how you do it. If you've got any questions, uh, Charlotte Mahoney is our uh, new official New Hope uh, representative, representative to the Ecumenical Assembly and to Love Chapel. She can tell you how to uh, get into the pantry to look for food, and she can answer most of the questions you have. I hope this made it Simpler, it's not a scary thing. It's so simple that somebody like this is capable of it. So I'm sure that you can do it too. God bless as you serve.